effect on the overall situation with the peace plan. David, thanks very much indeed for that. Now, Daniel Gersel is head of emergency programs at the charity People in Need. Uh, Daniel joins us from their base in Slovyansk, again in eastern Ukraine. Daniel, thanks for joining us. David Stern started telling us about the sort of conditions people are having to live in. Could you expand on that? I mean, is it much worse now than it was even a week ago? Uh, yes, I believe so. We're, we're talking about tens of thousands of people still on the front line, and they're not only families, not only people who can get to buses, but also elderly and disabled people who are trapped in their apartments and literally physically can't get to evacuation. Uh, there are brave volunteers along the front line, many of whom we work with uh, to support them, uh, who are trying to reach these people, sometimes having to break down doors because of these people are unable to walk or they're very old. And many of them are now trapped. Right, we've got pictures of Donetsk at the moment. In fact, we're looking at the, the airport, which, as you know, is an utter uh, disaster area. But in terms of the provisions that we take as standard, whether it's water, electricity, heating, you name it, I I'm presuming we're looking at tens of thousands of people with none of those. Yes, and that's to add to the, the hundreds of thousands who have already been displaced and are also in temporary shelters, also facing a cold winter. But on the front line, it's the worst, and especially for the disabled and elderly, uh, single mothers, pregnant mothers with their families. We're trying to get food assistance to them with the World Food Program, shelter assistance through uh, the UN High Commission for Refugees. Um, and People in Need is one of the few agencies working on both sides of the line, trying to help people on both sides and while trying to maintain neutrality. Well, that's obviously got its risks of its own, I imagine. But what, what is your sort of essentially your message to, to those who are caught in this situation? Stay put and we'll come to you. Or at the first opportunity, yes, get on a bus and get out. Well, people should not risk going out outside during bombardment or during even following recently following a, a, a bombardment. Uh, when there's active fire, obviously. So we're trying to get to them whenever there's a, a break in, in the fighting. And a lot of the region does have a ceasefire. If people can get out and it's clear that there isn't firing on the street, uh, they need to just communicate with however they can to find local volunteers. And through them, they can find uh, either support from the authorities or from international aid agencies. OK, Daniel, thanks very much indeed. That's Daniel Gersel of People in Need uh, in Slovyansk, which is their base.